Well, I did it. I got rid of all of my clothes. What do you mean you got rid of all your clothes? Gave them away. Gonna sew all my own clothes from now on. Okay, what are you gonna wear in the meantime? What do you mean? I mean, how long did you think it was gonna take to sew a whole new wardrobe? I don't know, a, a week? A week? Maybe a month? You have no idea what you're doing, do you? I have no idea what I'm doing. Do you even know how to sew? Oh my god, what am I gonna wear? So it turns out you can't make an entire new wardrobe in a year. So like most things in my life, I took on more than I could handle and I didn't get it all done in the time that I thought it would take. It especially didn't help that I was sidetracked by some projects that don't really help out with everyday wear. I don't have much call for a renaissance dress or a snow white costume in my normal work attire. Anyway, I placed a couple orders with ThreadUp and thought you might like to see what I got to add to my wardrobe. So, enough with the prologue. Let's get to the good part. <sighs> Sorry if anything's a mess, or looks gross, or... Hi, Butters. Hi, honey. Okay, get down here. But I just got this box, literally just now, and... Butters, honey, go lay down. Go lay down. I just got home, and he's upset that we're not going for a W-A-L-K. Anyway, I really wanted to wait until I had both shipments to open them, if you thought that I could wait after getting the first box, thank you for thinking so highly of me, and I'm really sorry to have to disappoint you. Okay. We need scissors. <sighs> My official box cutting knife. I have no idea what this knife is for. Avocados, maybe? It works well for avocados, but it works really well for opening boxes. Okay, I got this specifically to wear with a vest that I got with this because I thought it would look good with black or brown or white, but I have plenty of white. So I got this because I like the sleeves and it's button up and I thought it would go really well with that. And then this looks like the black shirt that I got. Ooh, it's like silky. This is the black shirt that I got for that same purpose. It's more of a sweater than I thought it would be. It's kind of heavy. But uh, I thought too that it would just look nice on its own. Just a, a black button up long sleeve shirt. Here is a Skirt? This is actually corduroy. I don't always pay attention to the fabrics. I look at the pictures. And I saw gathers and elastic, and I was sold. Uh, mainly, I got this because because of the, the layers of gathers. It's kind of steampunky, vintage, kind of Victorian. So I thought this would go really well with that same vest. I. Pretty much, I, I came up with like four or five different variations of one outfit. And they're all centered around this vest, which we will get to. Green skirt, because green is my favorite color. Again, elastic. Uh, it does look like it's rayon, so it's gonna get kind of wrinkled, but 
Just going to interject here to say that yes, it absolutely is Rayon, and while Rayon has good stretch and drapes real nicely, it does wrinkle easily, as you can see in the pictures it came wrinkled, and also it is not very flattering. I'm hoping to be able to fix this by making a petticoat to go underneath so it sits a little bit away from my body. And this one I actually had put back and thread up said that it was there. And I'm glad because this, this looks really awesome. That's really cute. Again, elastic. I, I might have a problem. I don't know. And before we get to the vest that started this whole thing, I did find this cute cottagecore dress. It has this trim around the middle that I like. It's really cute. And I like the color. And this is also kind of stretchy. And then we come to the vest, the inspiration for all of these outfits. And uh, it said on there that it was maroon. It's definitely more of an orangey. And that's good because I was kind of thinking it was going to be orangey. Ooh, cloth covered buttons. This vest was kind of a disappointment in that it was in worse shape than I thought it would be in, and it doesn't stay shut. It's kind of gaping. I did fix it a little by inserting a zip tie down through so it stays a little straighter, and I did redo the buttonholes to give them a little bit more structure. And it ties in the back. So cute, so cute, so cute. Okay. And then I also got some shoes. I honestly wanted to get way more shoes than I did, but some of them I just, I couldn't justify getting them. <laughs> but I could justify getting these. They looked sturdier than, I have a similar pair that isn't really sturdy on the bottom. And what happens is when you tie up the laces, the shoe's really floppy, it's not, it's not very comfortable, and the laces don't stay. But uh, yeah. Thought that was cute in like a fake suede. These, honestly, I have shoes similar to these and I wear them everywhere. So I figured I would get a nicer pair for, you know, not tromping through the mud. Like my other pair is a tromp through the mud pair. I saw these shoes and they look so super vintage and I just had to have them. Look at these shoes. Look at them. They are exactly the style of shoe that I would have thought was god awful ugly back when I was younger. And that lets me know that it's exactly the style I'm looking for. Oh my goodness, these might actually be vintage. That is. Is that wood? That is wood. That's a wood heel. of my thread up order, well, my second order, uh, this is really exciting because I haven't even put away the first. I just got that last night. Just got this now. I'm really excited. So we're gonna open it. I wore this dress today. I feel like it could use some top stitching around the top. It doesn't lay flat. I'm gonna try ironing it first. But, uh, other than that, it's super comfortable, super cute and I've felt super cute all day long. All right. The pack. This only had two in it, that's why it's in a, a bag instead of a box. I had no idea it was like this. Wow. 
<laughs> I knew the back was like this. That's mainly why I got it. This one is the... I didn't realize this was this fabric either. That's kind of broad top. I was planning on wearing this over a shirt, not just as is. Okay. So I'm glad I tried this one on first. Because it doesn't really work the way I want it to. For one thing, it's too tight around here because it has that bra top insert, which I mean I can take out if I want to, but it's still, it's not very voluminous in the bottom, like I thought it would be. Not bad. Not great. Definitely not good. And now, for the redemption arc. Holy hell, like, look at this! This is better than I thought. I liked the high collar, I liked the back. Oh, it's got this beautiful textured waffle pattern, and oh, look at this box, please. Oh, it's swooshy, and it's an asymmetrical skirt. Which I know a lot of people hate, but I love. Can you get this? Is the lighting right? Let me just, let me just make sure you see it in all of its glory. Oh. 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 Wow. This, this is actually, this dress is the reason that I made a second order. I was waiting for this and, uh, worth it. Hope you all enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed buying stuff for myself. Normally I do aesthetic sewing videos, so if that's something that you're interested in, be sure to subscribe to this channel, it really does help me out. Like this video and comment down below what you think were my best or worst finds. Obviously the worst was the brown dress, but were there any that you just didn't like or didn't think I did a good job picking? Let me know and let me know if you would like to see more videos like this. Until next time. And uh, I like the color. Mm -hmm. I don't know that. Alexa, what do you think I said? I heard on the middle. Okay. Uh, anyway, I'm pretty sure I'm going to splice it up so that you'll see me trying it on while I'm talking about it. But I don't know why I'm telling you that. Is it cute? Does mommy look cute? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I love you too. I love you too.